Perfect. Oh my god. So good. Alright guys. Woo! How are you guys doing today? Today we're trying something different. We are talking about going to give you guys a scented journey through Northern California in San Francisco. Now this story I got from Fragrantica and it's from Beth Karsten and she was talking about it back in July 11th of 2019, okay? So she went to the Golden State, she went to San Francisco, and uh, here's a great picture of uh, when she went down there. I don't know if you can pick that up, the bridge. Anyway, so she went there with uh, her family, and she saw some cool stores that I wanna let you guys know about it. If you're living in San Francisco, or you're gonna go down there and check it out. Now, so the first store she went to is Leyline, okay? Um, Leyline, L-A-L-I-N-E. Now the cool thing about this store, check it out. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'll probably, I'll just throw up a picture of it. So the cool thing about this store, it's based out of Israel, and they only have one store in the United States, and that store is located in San Francisco, and it's right down off of a Fisherman's Wharf, okay? So, uh, this store she went to, it's really cool. They had a lot of body oils, a lot of, um, you know, in Israel, they have a lot of uh, sea salt. It's very salty that they have um, natural salts that they use. So they've infused them with their um, body oils. They have lotions. They have uh, fragrance oils. They have fragrances. And uh, they have a men's section there. Okay. It's called Mr. Leyline. And uh, one of her sons, she bought, he bought... Mr. Leyline Eau de Toilette. So he it, that's a vetiver based scent. And uh, her son, I think he's in uh he's in he's been in perfume training for eleven years. So he probably knows his stuff when it comes to, to a vetiver based scent. Now she wasn't enjoying it too much, but he liked it and he purchased a bottle of Leyline Eau de Toilette for $49. Okay. Um, check out, I'll also throw a picture, but I just want you to quickly see like what it looks like. It's, you know, this dark black, this is the bottle right here that's showing right there. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put a picture of it. It's a very nice store, very well laid out. And uh, this next store that they went to was, okay, was Elizabeth W. Okay. Uh, now Elizabeth W. Was another type of a store that had um, body oils, um, you know, like lotions, same type of thing like Bath and Body Works, but high end type of um, lotions. Now there, they had. Let's see here. Yeah, they had hand creams, incense sticks, you know, um, and they had scents. The scents that they were selling at Elizabeth W. in San Francisco was Franken was a uh, hand creams, incense sticks, and the scents were orange flower, pom pom, and patchouli. That was her favorite. She liked the scent patchouli, um, and they had leaves and vetiver, which uh, she tested them out and. Uh, she said that vetiver didn't really smell like vetiver, oddly enough, but that's something to note. But she did like, from Elizabeth W, patchouli. So if you if you stop by Elizabeth W, make a beeline for the patchouli scent. Then she went on to another store she went to. It's Frankie and Myrrh. Okay, let me show you the Elizabeth W. I'll put a picture of Elizabeth W, and it's right there where you can find that patchouli scent. And then she also went to Frankie and Myrrh. I like that name, Frankie and Myrrh. And they're uh, natural focused and have an extensive selection of essential oils. Uh, but they offer essential oil blends with uh, funny names like Hippie Go Lucky, Talk Like Murray to Me, Go Commando, and Thrilla of Vanilla. I like that one, Thrilla of Vanilla. So yeah, uh, they have um, uh, 
they have a, also have a fragrances and lotions to um, to get mosquitoes off you, so the mosquitoes don't bite you, and you'll you know catch uh, Ebola or something like that. So that's something to look look out for. Uh, they have uh, <laughs> they also have scents to ward off road rage and foot and foot funk. So um, yeah, I don't know how it ward off road rage and foot funk, but maybe it's uh, maybe you put the lotion on your feet and it kind of like. I don't know if it's a joke or if it really will, if it really does work. They also have a, a scent that's called Bitches. So to ward off um, mosquitoes, road rage, foot funk, as well as bitches, apparently. That's very funny. <laughs> a scent that wards off bitches. <laughs> and then they have also a blends to help one sleep better. And I'm, I'm sure they have scents like that because I know that some of my clothes make me sleep really well. All right, Frankie Moore seems very, very cool. It's a little, it's a, it's a store that's um, in the mall, uh, on. On Post Street, so it's on Post Street. It took her a long time to find it because it's like inside the mall in the cut. And here's a picture of it right here, Frankie and Murr. See that right there. All right, so then, she went ahead and Frankie and Murr. The only thing that she bought from Frankie and Murder though was called Bubble Whammy. Now, uh, she said she said she was gonna buy Thrill and Vanilla, but she didn't. She bought Bubble Whammy, and that's actually when I look at it, it looks kind of cool here. Also, Bubble Whammy right there. If you guys can't see this, I'm gonna put pictures up. And then she she bought Bubble Whammy, and um, did she try it? I'm sure she did. And okay. She says how it smells like bubblegum, the scents they mix together to make it smell like bubblegum. They use ylang-ylang, eucalyptus, grapefruit, and vanilla. Those infused together at the right amounts made the smell of bubblegum. So that's very interesting to know. And she took some pictures of the trees, look really nice as well. Yeah, I like this. I liked reading this one. I thought I wanted to share this as well with you guys. Then she went to the jelly bean factory, uh, had some pizza. Yeah. Seems like a really cool person, had a lot of fun there. But yeah, if you guys are in San Francisco, check out those stores. And if you have any questions about Bubble Whammy or any of the scents I was talking about from the Israeli store, Liliane, ask me in the comment section below and you guys have a fantastic day. And check out those stories on Fragrantica, they're pretty informative. Peace.